Now that we've considered the percentage of, the, of what comes out of these carcasses, and you know the top 10 uh, normal uh, components out of the carcass, that's just part of the puzzle. Because when we consider those cuts, the ones that you normally consider when you think about the carcasses, for the most part, are those middle meats. And they're way down at the end of that top 10 when you look at percentage out of the carcass. But let's look at those now on a dollar value basis and see what contributes the most to the value of these carcasses. When we start with those, number one is the trimmings. Simply because there's more of those than there are anything else that comes out of the carcass. The two that fall out, obviously because they have less value when they're cut off of the carcass, are fat and bone. But when we start to look at what else is there and what has a lot of value, coming right behind trimmings are those middle meats that you'd expect to be there. Number two is the ribeye roll. Number three is the strip loin. Number four is the tenderloin. And the top sirloin sometimes fits into five. In, this, in these cattle, it happened to be number six. And in between there was a large muscle cut uh, called the inside round. Okay, so we get the, the end cuts coming in after that, especially those large ones again. Number seven is a shoulder clod. Number eight is a bottom or outside round. Number nine is a chuck roll. And number ten is a knuckle. 